Temari balls were first made in the Edo period by women who served the Lord of Matsue. Over time, these balls that began as children's toys were later considered real works of art. Coming in various sizes, temari are usually between 5 and 20 centimeters in diameter. Nowadays, you can even see them being used for jewelry and accessories. Tsune no Kinukawa was the first to decorate temari with Izumo Mingeishi paper, the traditional Japanese paper of the Izumo region. She particularly liked the paper's robustness, how it feels to the touch and its impressive properties, like how it doesn't fade over time. Charmed by the quality of this exceptional paper, Tsuneno spent nearly 40 years making temari, each more impressive than the last. She often used designs inspired by the symbolic flowers of Matsue, the peony and the camellia. Matsue is also famous for temari that come in five different shades of indigo. The shape of the ball is made using grated cypress wood. Once the shape is formed, the ball is then covered with cotton and thread. Once the ball is covered with glued mingeishi paper, it is left to dry for 24 hours. The next day, petals and leaves resembling a camellias are cut by hand from the mingeish paper and are then glued to the ball. Because each part of the design is carefully thought out, this step requires extreme precision. By using a simple paper ruler to set reference points with thread, one is able to make their pattern in the way they imagined it. The traditional pattern made here is called asanoha, literally the hemp leaf pattern. In Japan, hemp symbolizes good fortune and the healthy growth of children. <laughs> 